I'm Mark De Clive Lowe, and we're here at Sonar Studio in LA doing a sampling and remix workshop based on the Blue Note Records catalog. Looking at jazz sampling, how it's worked through history, especially in late 80s, early 90s hip hop, and for me also in the UK dance culture and the dance floor scene there, and how Blue Note music as a sound itself got used and reinterpreted by a lot of groups. I wanted to look at a classic break, so kind of taking the MPC approach to a Donald Byrd sample, Think Twice. And using some, like a drum break, then spinning wheel. You know, chopping those up and using them as, you know, as inspiration and as a springboard to, to create music. So what would often happen is that you, you get a sample or a break and you chop it. And you're sampling the material as one chunk and then cutting it into pieces. So when I take a break from spinning wheel... So that's a break straight off the record, off spinning wheel. If I was to sequence that, so then you're taking those elements and putting them together into a new sequence. So then if I take another break, um, which is in this case, it's a Donald Byrd sample, a song called Think Twice. So each pad represents one quarter note, one beat. So if I sequence that together with the spinning wheel break, So then I've combined the chopped up sample, the Donald Bird Think Twice and the spinning wheel drum break. I've also, on the Donald Bird sample, I've basically taken out the lower frequencies on there. So if I, if I had the whole, all the frequencies in, You hear the original record, basically. But I want to roll that out a bit so I can have space for other things to fit in there. And then typically, what would happen is you'd superimpose drums on top of that to make it stronger. Yeah. Then having added drums to beef it up a bit, I want to have a look at uh, some bass, a little synth bass in there. So that basically is how the chop was put together. Blue Note Records has been, it's been a really you know, a big part of my life growing up. I grew up as a jazz piano player first and foremost. So for me, there were records that they were like my, you know, my go-to desert island discs. Cannibal Adderley, um, here's this album, Something Else. This is the first clip. Just looping around. Second clip. Horns come in, Miles and Cannonball playing there. Third clip, my favorite one. (laughs) 
I think of this as two turntables where machine is one turntable and the jazz samples are the other turntable. It's kind of a DJ kind of mentality to it. In that respect, I have each turntable going into a respective chaos pad. One of the chaos pads is chained to a second chaos pad because I like chaos pads. <laughs> now, <laughs> what's cool about these is that they're very tactile. So we have filters. I've got some reverbs, delays, a few other effects, and it also means I can sample on these. So there's a bank in here with that sampled now. So for me, the whole idea of education is super important, you know, that people are not just in the dark trying to find their way making music. So I really dig with Dubspot that it has created a curriculum and an environment where people can learn. So for me, it's the ideal kind of environment for me to be involved in and to help, you know, to help educate. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music. <laughs>